Good morning. This is uh, Pastor Mark Hendricks of Jasper Pentecostal Church. It's Wednesday, March 3rd, and uh, I'm up on uh, the hill just behind uh, Old Fort Point, uh, south of uh, the Jasper town site, and uh, just uh, oh, a half a kilometer uh, behind Old Fort Point. Uh, just beneath the slopes of uh, Signal and Takara Mountains. It's uh, a mostly uh, overcast and uh, gray uh, day, uh, but uh, the sun is shining uh, in the south, and uh, it's uh, moderate temperature, uh, about three degrees, I believe. Uh, so it's actually uh, a pleasant morning and uh, it's uh, starting to feel like spring. And as I came by the Athabasca River or came across the Athabasca River on Fort Point Bridge, I saw a couple ducks, uh, mallard ducks, uh, one with the, the green head. And uh, I believe that's a, a sign of spring because uh, I understand that the mallards uh, fly south uh, for the winter, uh, but uh, these mallards are back and so spring is on the way even more sure sign than the groundhog i think <laughs> and uh, march 21st of course is the first official day of spring and we're in march now so uh, thanks to the mallards for showing us uh, spring and giving us a spring hope and uh, can't we use that i uh, i have well let me show you around uh, you can see uh, over my shoulder there at uh, Pyramid Mountain. And then over my other shoulder is uh, Hawk Mountain and uh, the Collin Range, Roche Bonhomme, Old Man Mountain. Just take a twirl. There you can see uh, Signal Mountain and behind that uh, the peak of Takara Mountain. There's a big rock uh, right here. And there are the red chairs <laughs> uh, that are up on this prominence. And you can come up here and have a beautiful view, uh, winter and summer. <laughs> and to my south is Mount Edith Cavell. Um, peak is in clouds. And then uh, Whistler's Mountain. And uh, there's uh, Yellowhead Pass, West uh, Highway 16 West and uh, BC. And then uh, Signal Mountain. Not Signal Mountain, Pyramid Mountain. <laughs> Yeah, let me just uh, come over to uh, the red chairs. So uh, I was uh, able to make an appointment for my parents uh, to receive uh, their vaccines uh, yesterday. I managed to get through on uh, the Alberta Health Services uh, site and make an appointment for them. And so soon they'll be able to receive that vaccine. And uh, I'll have the relief of knowing that uh, my parents uh, will be safe. And uh, I'll be glad for that. Uh, some good news from our health officials uh, about uh, our uh, long-term care homes or nursing homes. Uh, the number of uh, COVID cases has gone down dramatically, uh, over 90%. So there's uh, relatively few uh, COVID cases, and uh, that's wonderful news uh, that our, our uh, elderly and uh, weaker uh, Albertans are, uh, are being kept safe, and uh, our officials attribute that to the care of uh, staff and family in those uh, uh, homes, uh, but also to the vaccines. So the vaccines are being effective, and they're saving lives. And uh, 
I'm, uh, I praise God for that and uh, thank uh, Christ our healer for uh, the provision, uh, that medical provision for our health and welfare. Um, and he's looking uh, after us and he will see us uh, safely uh, through this uh, pandemic. Praise God. Uh, about this Sunday, I'm going to be, uh, well, why don't I take a seat here in the chair? There you go. <laughs> About this Sunday, I'm going to be speaking from uh, John chapter 9 about seeing is believing. In uh, that uh, chapter, uh, uh, Jesus heals a blind man at the pool of Siloam which has lately become famous, uh, the Pool of Siloam uh, that has been excavated uh, in Jerusalem and uh, even more famous now because uh, they've discovered uh, the uh, temple walkway that leads from the Pool up of Siloam up to uh, where the temple uh, stood in the days of Jesus. And I'm looking forward to uh, making that walk on that walkway someday when I return to Jerusalem. But Jesus heals the, um, the blind man at the pool of Siloam. And of course, he's overjoyed and happy and, uh, and uh, giving uh, glory to God for this great miracle that has happened to him. But uh, the Pharisees and the religious leaders, they object to it. They uh, uh, object to this miracle and not the least because Jesus has done it on the Sabbath. And uh, they consider Jesus a sinner and... Uh, they object to the work that he's done, and uh, they object to Jesus. Uh, they reject him. So in this story, uh, the blind man sees, but these spiritually enlightened religious leaders, uh, they are blinded. They are blinded to uh, the truth about Jesus. And uh, it's a reminder and a powerful illustration that seeing is believing believing in Christ Jesus, the Son of God. And that's what I'll be speaking about uh, this Sunday from uh, John chapter 9. So uh, God bless you and have a good week. Now I'm on Old Fort Point. I thought I'd uh, show you some more scenery. There's uh, Athabasca River down below Pyramid Mountain north and uh, Hawk Mountain, Colin Range, Rosh Bonal. There's uh, Signal and Takara Mountains to uh, the southeast and uh, that trail leads up to the hill where uh, I uh, just minutes ago. There's Kirkesland in the south. Edith Cavell in the clouds. And uh, Whistler's Mountain and the Athabasca River down below that. Yellowhead Pass and uh, Highway 16 West and Pyramid Mountain. The Athabasca today.